friends welcome so today's video is going to be on statue of unity yes friends we are also very keen to know more about it especially after watching one of the videos where i once i saw this i was like i need to go there we need to visit this whenever we come to india so i'm guessing this video is going to tell us more about statue of unity and what all facilities and things are around this area when one goes to visit it so without wasting much time let's watch this video but yes friends if you're new to this channel subscribe and all of us we need to share and like this video and yes friends we also have a channel in hindi where we do our reactions in hindi so if you would like to watch that the name of the channel is momzilla and i'll put the link of that channel in the description box down below so you can go ahead and check check that out too so okay friends let's go back to this video statue of unity and it says it's the world's tallest statue i am at the tallest statue of this iron man of india i'm i'm really excited about this the statue this statue is 182 meters tall and standing high oh god this is humongous huge and the tallest statue of the world jo chal nahi sakte zyada unke liye excavator dekhe bahut acha facility hai yes 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 friends i am at the statue of unity and this is truly a proud moment for me all are very proud the initiative taken by our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji is really an awesome awesome uh, step which is towards the unity yes in our diversified caste creeds religion we are here united and this is a symbol of unity sardar vallabhbhai patel had unitedly states and made our united nation india yes i'm reaching to the tallest man this iron man and even i am a iron woman <laughs> it's beautiful kitna acha banaya hai well and it is built at the sarovar dam reserve is that means we can go in the lift through the statue upward first floor so this is the place from where you are going to see the whole dam reserve is let's have a view statue of the world and this is four times bloody four times the height of statue of liberty well guys as you could see the structure this is in a square not and this structure is basically made up of steel framing and it has a reinforced concrete and a bronze cladding well i am in the jacket right now of sardar vallabhbhai patel खरीदने हैं, so you can buy souvenirs as gifts and stuff. Right, so, I'm going to have 
again the view of the Statue of Unity. Then you have to again board a bus, and this bus will take you to the dam side. Okay, so this is a view point where we are just halted, and uh, from here there is a view of a dam. Hotels. So these nice. are the VVIP tents and uh, Narendra Modi ji when he had come for the launch he came here for 20 minutes. All tents are similar and there are around 54 tents out here and around 94 in the other tents. So the rates here at VVIP tents are uh, like 6000 rupees for one night and two days and wherein they, they are having package where you will go sightseeing, hiking and crocodile sightseeing too. And then if you are going for two nights and three days, then it is 12,000 rupees. So there are the other tents on the other side of the dam and those are around 2,500 for a day's visit wherein uh, lunch, high tea is included and also a bit of a sightseeing and uh, also the package of Statue of Unity. Especially for we VIPs like CM or Prime Minister or such dignitaries who come here. So there is a specific tent which is made for them. Nice. So friends, we got to see the statue of La Unity through this video and I loved the details that were given so that it will help us when we plan to visit it. And this is at par. The Remember we went uh, to, what was it, uh, uh, where we had these faces, no, the faces of all the presidents. Yes. What, what, what was that a place called? Mount, uh, Rushmore. Yeah, Mount Rushmore. So we went to Mount Rushmore where they have on a hill, they've made the faces of all the presidents. And this is at par or I would say even better than the, the arrangement and the way they've presented it, better than that. And I love the fact and there are lots of other places also that we've gone through, gone. And they've taken that same idea, same concept where you have, you go down inside a building and then you take the lift and you go up inside. I loved that. And then you have this observatory, which is actually the javeb, where you see the outside, and that's actually the jacket. And through that, you get to view the from the top. You get all the, the whole view, which is amazing. And after that, they also showed there were there was a place where you could buy souvenirs. They had this eating place, and this is they've all got a bus. The ticket and the bus are included when you buy in buy the tickets. And this is the bus that takes you to this area and where you can sit, eat, and you can also go ahead and buy gifts if you are a tourist 
for your friends and family back home. And then the best amazing thing out of all, besides the statue, was this tent place that they showed. Oh my God, this is amazing because here again in US, we have these tent camp campings and I keep telling my husband that I need to, we should do it one day. But uh, we ha unfortunately haven't been able to because of time constraints and things like that. But looking at this concept, this was mind blowing. You've got these tents outside with the, and they're beautiful. I mean, the arrangement and then you have this food facility and they take you out also for visits. So amazing. You can spend a day if you like, or you can spend two days here. So it's a perfect spot for vacations. And then this last place where they have these flowers and they have this lit uh, written on there with the boat. This is amazing. That reminded me where they say Switzerland also has something like that. So beautifully done at par with any tourist place around in the world. And of course, this is the world's tallest statue. So definitely it's going to be something that we will be visiting. And then I think we should also do the tent, uh, stay for a day or two there. So hopefully guys, we are hoping that our plans will work out and we get to visit this place, but amazing, amazing. It really makes me so proud to see this. And we watched a video uh, where it told uh, about five T's uh, for Modi ji. So now we understand why he's, why is he building these? Because tourism. it comes, yeah, it comes in one T's, which is tourism. And of course, if you make such beautiful places for tourists, they are going to be definitely attracted because we are. So amazing guys, amazing. So very good video and uh, Statue of Unity. Uh, of course, we had heard the news that it was definitely the tallest statue today uh, in the world. And when I looked at what they were showing, right, I mean, it is at par with what we have in the US. In US, we have gone to many dams and the dams are pretty high. So again, you go into the elevator and there's a fantastic marble and tiles. They take you from the elevator. There are shops where you can buy souvenirs and they look at the whole dam. You can take photographs. So similar concept, like in, in some of the dams, you go actually down to look at the generator and all that stuff. So this was at par with that concept where, you know, first you go to a place from there where they take you and then you take the tickets, you go up the elevators, you look at everything and come down. This is in very a similar way, I think in Eiffel Tower also uh, in Paris, mm -hmm. uh, it was similar that, yeah. you know, you have to take the tickets, stay in the line. But there the hassle was more, is looking like easier way of just taking, getting the tickets, setting in. So very nice. I mean, India, obviously, uh, by building this, they have done a great job because it's the tallest statue today in the world. And tourists will come to see this. They are making it par with any place on earth. And the tent thing was great because it people are coming for excitement. They want to spend their time. So if they come into a hotel, it's not a big deal. But when they come with the tents, it, it adds to the excitement mm. value. So that was the purpose of that. Then again, the beauty was that there's a dam. The purpose of dam is at some point they will release the water. And then there will be full water over there. And the statue will be, I think, in the middle of the water or something there'll be some other way to go over there so very nicely done and then again uh, they they have these other things around places where, where people can also visit because they want people to spend probably two three days minimum so they can look at the statue of unity stay in the tents and go to the other botanical gardens they're, they're talking about temples so they'll uh, you know, innovate the temple. So basically each person they are going for probably most people say, okay, I'm going to stay for three or four days or a week, right? So they want to pe keep people occupied in spending in the areas around. It's a similar concept in any place in the US. If the concept, if the, if the city is great or they're showing something, they will have enough activities for you for at least five days so that you stay there, you spend your money in the city, grows up an economy. So very nicely done and as uh, we were saying that you know based on the uh, five t's and this is the t of the tourism that is being done but it is good to be very proud right at some point when the Kuala Lumpur came with the twin towers there was a lot of you know publicity and is this and that and and it was great definitely we had gone there at some point and it was great 
but similarly they are doing this for India which is amazing that people when anybody lands up on the airports there should be statues over there to attract the tourists you know, see go here and see the you know largest statue on earth so something like that when people are coming up on the airports all these great things should be showcased so that a person comes and says wow okay wow 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 and, and then they will make a tour to see all those things so Definitely. very uh, very you know good thing that uh, uh, such a great statue has been made on a great person uh, that has helped India uh, great political figure in India yeah that's this is beautiful so we are definitely going to be visiting it whenever our plans to visit India are confirmed and we are planning so hopefully if not this year next year is for sure so fingers crossed friends wish that our trip uh, you know takes place sooner <laughs> hopefully and we get to visit this beautiful beautiful area so really amazing amazing idea and i get i'm hoping that uh, you know pm modi has some great plans like this also to build things and statues and monuments all around india so that every place has something to offer our tourists so okay friends we'll take our leave and we'll come back again with another video very very soon till then take care and bye bye oh and if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so it notifies you when i put in my new video for you to enjoy bye